We welcome in PointsBet senior editor Teddy Greenstein. So, Teddy, let's dive right into this. With the current outright odds in New Orleans. Yeah, Maddie, you're making me hungry watching that video there in New Orleans. I would love to be down there for a shrimp po' boy. But, you know, joining you on a Thursday, which means we're going to focus on live betting. And that, in a lot of ways, is more fun than uh, than taking a gamble before it starts. So Aaron Ryan, David Lipsky, we have an Englishman paired with a Northwestern alum who's got had great fi finishes in Europe. Those guys were plus 9,000 or 90 to 1 to start. And after firing that 61, they are at 16 to 1 right now on points bet. So big move there. Uh, the team of Turl Hatton and Danny Willett uh, started at 30 to 1. I've seen them recently at 16 to 1. There indeed we have them. Um, Hovland and Morikawa. Okay, they were as low as plus 350 after their scintillating start. But you can see them there now, the favorites at seven to one. If you had uh, popped on them early this morning, you would have gotten them at eight to one. So you really haven't missed out. All right, Teddy. So Golf Central pregame will follow our show today. But before they can give us any sense of what to expect in the afternoon, I'm curious about what you think of some of the afternoon matches that you have your eye on. Indeed, Maddie, I am focused on the afternoon uh, primetime matchup here of Cantley and Xander against Ryan Palmer and Scotty Scheffler. As you can see, Cantley and Xander are small favorites. You know, Palmer's getting some flack or maybe some admiration on social media for these uh, his ability to pair with some of the best in the world consistently. Of course, it was Jordan Spieth, then it was John Rahm, and now it's the best in the world. I think this sort of makes him the Pete Davidson of the Zurich Classic. So <laughs> this man certainly knows how to live. Uh, the Cantley group, again, slightly favored because they are probably the best team on paper in the field, along with uh, Hovland and Morikawa. Pete Davidson? All right, so the main boost for this week focuses on <laughs> Team Scheffler and Palmer. What do you have? You know what I'm getting now with Pete Davidson. I believe you do. Um, all right, so our boost was sort of a Masters replay here, Masters Rewind. Scheffler and Palmer to combine for more birdies then Mark Leishman and Cam Smith, who are, of course, the Aussies and uh, the defending champions of the event. And this was boosted from plus 100 to plus 135. So we know that Scheffler can make birdies uh, in bunches, if not boatloads, and Cam Smith can certainly do the same. So hopefully this will be uh, a matchup with a lot of fireworks. Yeah, that makes sense, too. So overall, then, Teddy, who were the most popular picks of the week? Maddie, certainly a lot of the names that you would assume, Hovland and Marikawa, were getting 18% of our handle. Palmer and Scheffler, 12%. Burns and Horschel, very popular this week. Two Southern guys at 10%, uh, at two SEC alums. Here's the surprise. Will Zalatoris and Davis Riley, 8.5% of our handle. And because those odds were plus 3,000 or higher earlier in the week, they are the largest liability for points bet. Uh, so, wow. look, Davis Riley showed amazing form last week at the Valspar, obviously getting in the playoff before falling to Sam Burns. But, you know, this is one of those deals where it, it's so surprising, sort of like we had heavy uh, lumber on Carlos Ortiz last year for one of the majors, enough that he was a huge liability and it was making our traders say, wait, what's going on here? So that, that's a little bit the case here, although these guys are off to a nice start. Last I saw, they were uh, three under through 10. So well done for uh, Zalatoris and Riley thus far. Yeah, and it also shows how dialed in golf fans really are. So that's fascinating information. True. I I'm going to change the channel on you here just a little bit. The PGA Championship, we're, what, a month away? What do you guys have so far in terms of outright odds looking uh, for the second major of the season on the men's side? Yeah, Maddie, we always love to look ahead to the majors. That's where so much of our betting takes place. And as you'd imagine, Scotty Scheffler's price has changed since his glorious run at Augusta National. So huh. he was 20 to one before uh, before the Masters, and now he is 12 to one, up near John Rahm territory. Uh, Cam Smith, still a good price there at 18 to one. He was 20 to one uh, the Thursday morning of Augusta. And one notable, not on the board other than Jordan Smith, Spieth that we're seeing is Phil Mickelson. We are listing him at 125 to one. Let's see if he plays. Last year, he went off at 200 to 1, and then he was actually 300 to 1 after bogeying the first hole on Thursday. Fascinating stuff. Teddy, thank you very much for giving us some insight for not only this week, but also for the PGA Championship. Good to see you. Yeah, anytime, guys. Thanks, Maddie.